Okay, we've mixed our dye now and we're ready to apply it. We've got the proper clothing on so we don't uh, destroy some of our, our nicer clothing um, to protect that and our hands. Um, in preparation for dyeing, what we've done with this heifer is we've just rinsed her and then dried her. That hair is really dry and crisp. We don't want to use shampoo prior to dyeing or after dyeing. I think when we see some of um, where we're burning some of the cattle or burning their hide is where the dye mixes with that perfume in the shampoo. So we want to rinse them, we want them clean, but we don't use shampoo to get there. The other thing I spoke about earlier was um, if we have any white spots, we want to cover it with oil so we don't get dye on those white spots. And so I'm going to go ahead and start by applying that to her flank here on her udder to keep us from getting any dye down there on that udder. So I put the, the Pro Gloss on there. We're going to come back, let that dry just a little. We're going to put this Pro Foam on there just because it coats it just a little bit better. So we've got a good layer on there now. So if we get any dye up on that udder, it shouldn't stick to it. Now we want to be very precise with this because anywhere we put that, that dye is not actually going to stick to it. Another thing we want to make sure is that we don't have anything in our bottle prior to put it in there. You don't want any oil. You don't want to use an old Easy All bottle. You want to make sure this is a new clean bottle. Now you can see on this heifer, mainly her, um, it's just her main body that we need to get dye on. We can dye down on their legs, down on their hooves. I'm going to start right here on her main body and just get that really good and soaked. And I actually comb all directions so we make sure we get a good coverage. Now when you're combing this in, we're using a, a plastic comb. I'd tell you to just find the, the oldest comb you got because this comb is gonna be covered in black when we're done. Just make sure that cleans, that comb's clean. It doesn't have any oil residue or anything on it as well because that dye won't stick as well. So I'm gonna put this first layer on with this comb and just get it all going, get it nice and soaked. Then we're gonna come back with this uh, scrub brush and just work it down into the hide, make sure we get completely covered. Now, um, I like to dye even the parts that aren't brown. I think when we dye cattle, um, we get just a nice, fresh, clean look. And so if we get a consistent um, coating all over the heifer, just not those brown spots, we just put a little bit more where it's brown. You know, for shows where you can't paint, I really like dyeing their legs and their feet prior to show. So we'll get down here and we'll actually get it on their hooves and dew claws. And then we don't have to worry about having color variation on show day. For demonstration purposes, we're just going to do this heifer on one side so we can show you what the other side looks like. We're gonna get her ears good too. That's a place where we miss a lot. That's usually brown down here in their chest floor and then their heart gets really brown. We want to make sure we coat those areas really good. So we've got a good coat on this now all over her body and I like to come back in with our scrub brush and just work that down into their hide a little bit. And we can go down, we can go up. We just want to make sure we're getting that actually down into her hide. Getting a really good coverage there. It's really important that we time ourselves. So once we've got this die completely in there and on there, we're gonna go ahead and I usually just get my phone out and set the timer for 30 minutes 
because we've probably set, spent five to ten minutes by the time we get this fully applied and then we get it um, back on the the um, wash rack to wash rinse it out again we're not going to use any shampoo we're just going to rinse this dye out by the time we get this heifer back on the wash rack we don't want the total time that dye has been in there for over 45 minutes so i just use my phone just time myself and uh, make sure i think that's crucial that we don't leave this in any longer than 45 minutes you know, I've worked this hair in many different directions, but before we take this one back inside and just let that dye set, I like to comb all that hair back in the direction um, towards her head, just so it's all facing the same direction, and uh, just so it's not drying where we have kind of some swirls and stuff. We don't want to set that in long term, so just make sure that hair's all combed back in the right direction.